Greetings from the Sunshine State. I just finished using some leftover paints on this 12 by 12 canvas and finally got the big cloud boulders that I've been trying to achieve. Figures just throwing together odds and ends and then I get it. But I did use some of the remnants from these three that I just did earlier, the three matte experiments that I set aside to dry. Hopefully they won't crack. So I'm going to do a companion, try to do a diptych to this 12 by 12 and, and use similar colors on another 12 by 12. Colors I used in the painting that I just showed you, in the port I just showed you, were these. I believe this is a, a sachet red modern masters. And this is uh, some type of purpley gray concoction. Some type of tan concoction. These are all leftover paints. These are the paint drippings that I scooped up from the um, three experiments that I just did. And then this is some white that I had laying around. I believe it's a, from a cloud pour. So I just laid that as my base. And now I'll pour my cups. And then I'll be using these little, little remnants left from the cloud pour that I just did. Um, this is the folk art white mat. And this is the apple barrels, just a tiny bit left here. So I'll make a dip tick and see if I can have something similar to what I just did. I started doing this motion and at the end I started doing a ring. Maybe I should have stayed with that one motion, but oh well. I see some nice boulders forming. I find the white base helps it to glide. Otherwise, the paint rolls over itself. You can see how it's just rolling over the base instead of over itself. It's kind of nice. But the only drawback to the white base is that sometimes you get the white dots appearing from underneath. This was actually a, a tan color challenge. That's why I used the tan 
which is my least favorite color to use in a painting because I find it looks kind of blah and bland and takes over. And it was a challenge from one of my Facebook groups. Uh, yesterday we had to indicate what our least favorite color was, so I posted it was tan. And then today we were asked to do a, a core using our least favorite color. <laughs> but what I was able to achieve were the big boulders and I, I like the tan with the blue. As you may recall, these are the paint, the blue is, are the paint drippings. So let me just take a look at it, see what I need to do here. Yeah, I shouldn't have done the circle in the center. I don't like the pattern in the center, but I don't want to fool around with that now. might stretch out some of these and take out some of this. If you are enjoying this video, please like and subscribe below. like effects here. I don't want to be dripping on my painting with my drippy gloves, but um, maybe I should stop there. And I could stretch it out more, but then I'd lose some of the other effects. You see, if you're 75% happy with the pour, leave it, because once you start fiddling, then Sometimes you're even less impressed with it, but I tend to like everything that's going on. There are different sections to it that have a lot of interest. So, I'll take it down for a close-up. So I'm pleased with these results. I've always been trying to achieve these big cloud boulders. And it's surprising how the colors actually complement each other. They go well together, but you wouldn't, you wouldn't have picked them normally. The tan, the burgundy, the blue, and the white. So it would make a nice companion piece to this other one, where the burgundy took a little more. I have a diptych. So today I did a diptych and a triptych. <laughs> so hopefully these will all dry nicely. I think this one is my favorite. Even though I didn't like the middle, it's growing on me. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. And here are the dry results. So here's my diptych. I think these two go well together. I have them sitting on my stove just to get different lighting. 
But this is the one that I did first. I didn't videotape it. It was for a challenge for a Facebook group. And um, my challenge was to use my dreaded beige that I don't normally like to use in pores. But I do like it in this one. It didn't take over. And it complements the blue of the... Um, you may recall that I scooped up blue paint drippings in my three experiments with the matte paints in my cloud pour experiments. And that's what I used in this. And also in this one. That's what the blue is. So... Um, in this one, I used uh, the remnants or the leftovers of all three the Apple Barrel Matte, the Folk Art Chalk Matte Paint, and the Folk Art Titanium White Matte Paint. And they were all mixed with satin enamels and Floetrol. And that was what I poured into this. And I used just colors I had left on the shelves. I used burgundy and, um, as I mentioned, the blue paint drippings and the beige. And then in this one, I did a similar pour. Oh, in both I used white as my base. I didn't use the blue base that I did in the three experiments. So I used white as my base and um, the base had a combination of satin enamels and bare satin enamels and Floetrol. And in this one, I didn't use the chalk paint. I was out of that. I used it all in this one. So I only used the Apple Barrel and the Folk Art Titanium White and got some beautiful results. So there are various combinations to put these two together. This is just one of many. That's it for today. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe below.